All right, here we are again. This is the DJI Vita. This is Jesse's drone actually, and he's upgrading it to the 3.5 inch Axis flying kit. I'm responsible for doing the build. I'll give you a step-by-step -step as I'm doing it, and you can follow along if you want. Yeah, let's just get into it. Let's just go. All right, so we want to disassemble the thing first. I'm using this tiny little Allen key. Uh, I think it's a 1.5. Not sure how accurate that is. Just one that fits these screws. All right, we're gonna remove the props. There we go. Next up, we're gonna remove this vision sensor. So it's just these two screws just here. And then we can remove this guy. So now we remove these side panels. So after the four screws are out, we can just... And then we've got four here. One, two, three, four screws to remove. And now two here, one, two. All the prop guard screws are out. We can carefully Now we can oh we're changing the tool up. 2.5. It's just a Phillips head. So now it's just these two screws here that need to be removed. Slide these guys out. You can grab it from the actual like back end there and pull it out so it comes out like that. Same as this one. All right, now removing the motors. Each one has three screws that we want to get rid of. So we got this one, this one, this, and and this. We still got two screws to go, which is these two here. Um, this one here has a little bit of rubber on it that you got to remove. So now that we've got those two off, that one of the rubber was such a freaking pain. But that's gone cool. now. We can remove the whole component. And it just slots right out as the heat, heat sink. I'm guessing or maybe it's glue. That's all the electronics. Now we can remove this frame from the gimbal section. We've got one, two, three, four, four. Five, six, seven screws to remove. And um, there we go. Okay. Keep that. Um, we want to keep this as well. This cable here. Feed it through that little gap. Yeah. All right, there. All right, now we've got to get the camera out. So to remove these little rubber things, you just got to take it slow. Just be pretty gentle with it. There we go, and it comes through like that. And there's three of them, one more here. DJI Avada sticker, peel that back a bit. Feed the cable, feed the cable through there. And now it is disassembled. Oh. So that's the old frame we don't need anymore, right? Okay, so now we can take apart this and start doing some soldering stuff. Just these two screws here. Phillips head. And we gotta unplug this. Yeah, just using the frame to pull it out. So the technique that we're gonna be using today is cutting these and just soldering them directly onto the wire rather than touching the board. Um, I'm hoping it'll be simpler but we're about to find out. I've got a wire strip, but it's not, the smallest isn't small enough. Next best thing is just, can you just use your nails to like pull the, yeah. to strip it? Fingernail tools. Put masking tape around the board so we don't get any solder on there. And we're just gonna work with these wires, connecting those three on. All right, we've done three already. We're on to the last one. So what we've been doing is basically just cutting this motor off. 
putting it over in that pile over there. Getting the brand new Axis flying motor. Getting the measurements kind of right and then cutting it there. And then basically stripping all three on each side. Very sad again. And then stripping all three, uh, and then just stripping each, stripping all three wires on each side. <laughs> and then we weld them together with some heat shrink around. And then that's what you get here. Good enough. Okay, at this point for the battery plug, I decided to stop soldering to the wires and just solder directly to the board as it was just a lot quicker and easier. All right, so now we're removing the battery plug. Uh, there's a bit of like silicon or something on these pads that we gotta take off. Oh, someone's having fun out there. Oh yes. Now that silicon is removed, we can desolder this. Positive done. So now, the same thing, but you want to do it with the negative. Strip it. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Yeah, there we go. These wires are too long, so I'm just going to cut them to length. I'm going to re-strip them. Connect positive to positive, negative to negative, uh, TX slash RX to the bottom one, and then bat on will be on the top one. If you look at this, there's one that's indented in further into the indent. Uh, that's the bat on one. Battery on. So those are the ones we just connect them up now. Don't forget heat shrink before you solder. So just chucking these stickers back on since we've done everything else and we're gonna put it back in its box. All right, rotate. Is that it? Almost, I need to push the plastic in. There we go, now that's in. That way. All right, one and two. And that's how it looks. All right, so we're now putting this camera in. The cable goes through there. You want to get some floss or something thin to pull these grommets through, gimbal grommets through those holes. So, Colgate floss. Like that. And we're going to put this on now. But before we do that, you got to make sure to put this standoff in because this goes on top and then you won't have access to it anymore. This one goes through this hole. Oh. Screw in the hole in the bottom. So I've skipped ahead a bit here because I made a doozy. I didn't measure the battery plug before soldering so when i placed it on it was way too long which meant i had to cut it to correct length and re-solder it again i didn't end up filming that because it was a massive pain uh, but when you do it make sure to measure yours first line it up make sure the length is good then cut and solder yet now i'm just basically putting it all on i've placed the as this like metal aluminium plate i've just placed that little plate underneath that as well if you look closely you can see but that's about it so let's continue from here so now, once we've placed that on, you can click that in, and then we're gonna put this little bracket over the top. All right, now these two are in. Now we're doing the, these two. These two screws done, now we can do the motors, and the motor screws come in the actual motor boxes. All right, one done. Okay, that's two, three, and four. There's all four motors done. Now we can plug the camera in and the other thing, I think it's a GPS. And this longer one, which is for the camera, has it needs to be pushed down in these two bits here. There's no click sound, but uh, if you feel it, it won't easily come out, so that's good enough in. Okay, once those two Phillips head screws are in, we can move on to 
putting the frame on. I forgot to do this, uh, tuck in the camera wire and then place the frame over the top. Uh, make sure all the holes on the side line up. Okay, this doesn't want to go in. Stay out of here. Okay, there's this clip on the back here. And if you push this down first to get under that, it makes it a whole lot easier to fit everything else in. All right, now let's do the screws to hold it in. There are six screws for this frame. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's also one more standoff that goes here between the battery plugs and you screw it in from the top here. The screw is the one at the flat top. All right, now the final plate, we want to put that in this orientation of the two screws to countersunk screws that way, standoffs. All right, we'll solder that with this wire to this, which will be plugged into the Vata. Just swap the USB-C around so the orientation is that way with the pads facing up. All right, the USB-C is done, soldered and heat shrinked. Uh, it's basically just power to power. Uh, negative D, I don't, I don't know what that is, but uh, negative D to negative D, positive D to positive D, ground to ground, the same to each one. We can cap it up and put the lid on this guy. And now with this USB, I can just plug that in. Okay. Now we're up to the, the prop guards. So it goes underneath. Uh, yeah, so at this point, I kind of just stopped talking, um, I don't remember why, uh, but yeah, I just assembled the, the guards in, placing all the, there was these little, like, plastic little spaces that you got to put in between, and, but yeah, just try and fit stuff in, put all the screws in, make sure there's no holes remaining, and you should be good. And now I'm going to do downward vision sensor. Plug her in. Oh, man, it's coming together, look at that, look at that. Oh, this thing's in that black. Yeah, good, good. Like that. Now I'm just doing the, the stand. There's four of them, and then it just sits like that. Those are done. These are done. Those got put in. Oh, we need these ones. Yep. Here it is, the last thing I did at the end was just chuck that GoPro mount on there. But that's it, that's it, done. So now we're just gonna test it out, make sure that uh, all the motors work and the camera works and everything. And then we'll chuck some props on and do a little hover test. It looks so much cooler. All right, it's plugged in. Now we gotta turn the battery on, are you ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, cool. Look, it, it looks like the motors all worked as well. Camera works. Whoa! <laughs> Can you um, adjust the the camera? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Do they all spin? Yep. Okay, cool. Jeez. Jeez. I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous as well. I think it's just right, going to crash. Oh, cool. I think we're good, bro. Oh. I think we're good. Oh. That's so relieving. So I, I, can still see, I can see the prop guard. Yep. I'll put it a bit higher. Gotta get 25. Alright, we're at 25. I'm really high up right now. Should I give it a bit of a punch? Yeah, man. Nothing, I didn't get any warning. Oh, wow. All right, so I'm good. Bring it in. Oh, there we go, motor overloaded. You want to fly it now? Yeah, I want to. Bit of prop oh, wash there. Nice. 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 Oh! 
What are you doing? What's that at? It looks like a mosquito. What are you doing? It's like not freaking out. It's handling the intense movements really good. Whoa! Oh, bro, that scared me. <laughs> this is sick. Yeah? Come in behind us. Alright. Too fast. Whoa, it's fast, bro. Right? <laughs> like it doesn't feel weak anymore. It's really weak, and you couldn't trust it. There's nothing unpredictable has happened yet. Yeah. What's the battery at? 47. It lasts a long time. Oh my god. That yeah. looks like you're going straight down. That's really good. First impressions? Yeah, it's much better. That's, that's so good. Oh, thank god. Everything works. Okay, thoughts after the build. I'd probably never do it again. It took a long time. Sick drone now. It's really awesome, but I just can't recommend doing that build. It's, it's, it's a pretty big project. The, the negatives with it is it's heavier now. It doesn't fly as long because of that and it's got a lower top speed. The SD card as well, you have to remove the prop guard to access it. It's really annoying. So I advise just putting the SD card in there, screwing it up, leaving it and accessing the SD card from the USB-C on top. I just plug it into your computer. If for some reason it's not coming up, uh, maybe you're going USB-C to USB-C, it needs to go from the USB-C to a USB-A, which is just a regular USB port. Don't know why, but that happened for us. Um, so if you've got that problem, uh, do that. Uh, but the positives of the thing is it's actually quieter now. It's a lot more punchy. Your problem that it used to have just pretty much is gone. You have so much more control and it's so much more predictable as well. It's not gonna, it used to, when you do a sharp yaw, it sometimes would just decide to Nose dive into the ground for some reason. I don't know. It just couldn't handle it. But now it can. So that's great. Okay. That's it. Bye.